start with, I want to I want to rough in where I think the top of my trees are going to be. So I've started to put in the stem of the trunk of this tree here. And I'll just add a couple more buddies in here. Stick one in here. Over there. And make that guy a little bigger. And once I've got them in there, I like to do this so I know where I'm going. And after I've got them disrupted in there, I'll start to give them branches. And the idea is to be loose. You want to you wanna give them branches that are pretty random. And just, just try to be loose with your brush. Let it, let it happen just a little bit. You don't want them to be completely symmetrical. Trees have character, so you want to you want to let them have character. A little, little dot over there, just just because. And this one's actually going to have a branch coming across the top like that. That happens on occasion. So at about this time, I want to switch colors slightly, add some orange. A little bit darker, but not uh, not as much of a change as I was looking for. So I'll use a little bit of it, and then I'll go back and change it, change it some more. So we're just gonna give it, give it branches here and there. The idea is you want to be somewhat random, and I. I'm using a an angled brush today that's that is flat but has a point up here so you can use it either as a at, use either the point or the whole thing so it's a really handy type of brush and we'll just go along and give it some more give it some more branches like that decided to go a little bit bluer, so let's see what happens. Kind of like that. Add some of this blue in there. So as our tree is going down, how about we go a little purpler here. I'm adding a little bit more of the magenta. And purpler, you say, why purpler? And I say, why not? here, use the side of the brush, see what happens, see if you like it. If we don't, then we'll mix it around a little bit. And then just go down. Okay. There we go. And with this darker color, I also want to, while the paint is still wet up at the top here, add just a little dark here and there. Just to show some darker part of the trunk. Maybe underneath the branches is darker. Now we're going to mix in a little bit more of the magenta just to see what happens. We'll just branch down here. See what happens with our violet branches. There are no violet branches on trees I've ever seen you say. Well, Maybe you haven't seen the trees I've seen. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. I'm not really sure, but at any rate, we're adding some violet to the uh, our violet mixture, or red and bluish. See what happens here. Whether or not it's real or not, I don't like what it's doing, so we're going to stick with it. Okay, so I've mixed the orange lake and the yellow and we'll see what happens here this is still a little wet so it's going to mix into the violet color and add some up here before it gets too dry as well see how I like that it's good to bring the colors together a little bit have a little bit here and there of the of the colors see 
seems to be more cohesion that way. So we'll just add a little orange here and there. See what happens. See if we like it. What happens if we don't like it, you say? Okay. We can always paint a big rock over this area if we don't like what it looks like, or paint a bigger tree, crop the painting. So far I'm liking it, so we're sticking with it. Actually, I think that orange is, is helping up, up in our tree. It's giving a little, a little more fun. Okay, and I gotta stop adding the fun here soon, or it'll, it'll start to take over. Okay. Add some orange branches down below. Okay, and we're gonna give it another friend here. See what happens when we make more of a warm colored tree. And give it a buddy. There's its buddy right there. And start to give it branches. Remember, you want to be fairly loose with your branches. It's, it's sort of like handwriting. You don't want to be so stiff that it you know, has the same sort of look of a five-year-old. You want to have that I've been writing and handwriting for 75 years look and be real smooth and just have fun with it. Give it another warm colored tree. Well, actually we'll make it a little bit different colored over here. It's going to be warm but slightly different. And a little bit more orange to it to see what happens. I like it. Okay, yeah, I can I can work with that color. Give it more branches. And I think we're gonna change the color as we go down on both of these. This one I think, let's try some redder color as we go down, see what happens. Okay, I like that redder. Let's fill out the branches. Blend it a little bit so the lines are as sharp on this tree. Paint. So we want some sharper details and for sharper, sharper details we need dry paint. And as I can tell, they are. So let's let's try it out here. It's an, it's got a dark color, so let's give it some give it some dark details. So try to make it look like the trunk is standing out in a couple places. So give the trunk some darker color. A darker colored trunk in there. Dots. Dots are fun, so we're adding fun. Okay, a couple of dark details on top. 